Hi everyone. So I thought I would show you, and oh, there's the glare on that. Um, I would show you something that I've set up recently um, to go with a new hobby. Um, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I have taken up crochet and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, it's one of those hobbies that you can kind of pick up um, and do everywhere. And um, what I've been doing is I've been keeping track of um, certain things with a file effect. So I've got my um, Holborn, which is brown personal. Um, it's quite stuffed. Uh, so what I've got with it is I've got a little notebook here, which is my um, utility book from my field notes, Spitfire Dory, which uh, Ray made for me. Um, I just keep this in here. Um, I actually haven't got any crochet notes in here, but just in case I want to just kind of jot some stuff down or maybe write a, um, a pattern, or an idea for a pattern that probably doesn't go in here, um, in there, so I keep it in one of those pockets. I love the setup of the Hoban because you've got these outside pockets. Um, as you know, I'm not a rings girl for everyday use, but they definitely have their uses and I do love my collection of Firefoxes. In the front, I've got some business cards that have come um, to me from uh, yarn orders, so wool orders. So there's um, two ladies who I've bought from before who um, hand dye uh, wool and are absolutely fabulous. I've also got the card for the local haberdashery store in Abingdon who are independent and fabulous. Um, I have a couple of little, uh, these little envelopes from Flow uh, magazine, the book for paper lovers, which I've just kind of kept in there just in case I want to bring, I don't know, and um, a tapestry needle or I have a couple of bits of yarn that I just want to keep hold of, a couple of um, just sheets of paper for lists and I have got a belly band for one of um, one of the walls that I'm using at the moment just in there um, for safekeeping. I've got a couple of patterns in here um, and a postcard that I've sent with one of my one of my uh, wool orders. I've got my fly leaf here which has got a couple of little just stickies on it which I got in a rack uh, the uh, so this is Anna um, Anna Brimbles or Mrs Brimbles as she's known on Etsy she makes um, file effects dashboards and uh, dividers and this is actually it's actually her kind of um, thank you for buying with me but it's the same it's the same it's the, it is a personal size so I use it as kind of my front cover I have one of my little smile clips on the top and this is the, my reference section uh, so I have a couple of little to-do notes on there just in case I want to use them um, I have a kind of a cheat sheet for different types of wool and the different uh, weights and what they're called in the US and what they're called in the UK um, size of crochet hooks and what they might be called if they're in terms of their millimeter size, American versus British cro crochet terms, knitting needles just in case I decide to use knitting needles um, in the future. I am I do knit but very very badly. Um, I much prefer crochet. Um, an inch to centimeter conversion because you always need that. Um, so basically imperial to metric. Uh, a couple of the different um, file effects inserts that you know when you get all those information inserts at the front. Of a, of a new diary. Uh, the ones that are relevant I put in here, so like clothing sizes and things like that. Um, a list of abbreviations, so things like what does ch and sissa mean, uh, and the symbols that go with that if you're doing a, if you've got a, a pictorial pattern as well. Um, I've got three main dividers, um, so they are Martha Stewart, the big tabs, um, so I've got how to, I've got projects and I've got yarn stash. So my how to is just going through my basic stitches just in case I just want to go through. Um, I've got the abbreviations and then the um, notation for it as well um, in there. Things for like tweed stitch, bubbles and clusters, uh, popcorns, um, shells, just to kind of give me a bit of a, a reference section. I will be adding to that as I as I learn more stitches. Um, all of these are from greetings cards that I've been sent um, in the past from one person. So she has this set um, with these flowers on them. So I thought I'd make good use. This is my project. Uh, so this is my works in progress, my queue and my finished projects. Um, so I have my work in progress at the start. I then have two um, today markers. So I've got one that goes to my queue and one that goes to my completed, um, just so I can kind of keep up with where everything is um, and put it in the right section within this section. 
I don't have all my works of progress works in progress in here. I also use Ravelry on the internet, uh, which is a brilliant, brilliant site and brilliant database. Um, so if I find a project or a, or a pattern online that I really like, I'll put it into my queue or I'll put it into my library ready to be used. And if I then go on to actually make it, I'll put it in that, I'll put that into my projects. So not all of them are here, but it kind of gives you a, gives me an idea of what I've done and where I'm going. Um, I have a project sheet, which I made myself um from a couple of different sources of kind of getting inspiration so i have the name of the project the name of pattern where it's from when i started it um the the yarn or the wool that i need i use for it and how many skeins i need um gauge if that's important the needles that i use or the hooks any kind of notions and my row count this is really important particularly at the moment well this one's a a, a toy that i'm i'm making a giant sheep for my brother um i'm hoping he doesn't see this before he before he gets it um and with toys, because you're working in rounds, you kind of have to keep an eye on how many rows you're doing and things like that. So it's really important to do that. A couple of different ones. This I've actually stopped doing. Um, it's been put in a cupboard. So it's important that I've written it down so when I pick it up again, I know that I'm on row 12. Um, and my octagon throw, which is the octagons that I was doing while we were on the road in, uh, in the US, it's really nice to sit on a plane and crochet. Um, I'm not a big fan of flying, so actually being able to do something with my hands that's not drinking alcohol <laughs> um, was was really helpful. Uh, so that's that's kind of my project sheets. I also have a cue sheet, which I'll do there. Um, so I put the things that I want to do, and then I put the place in the queue that they are. So for, at the moment, um, oh, actually I'm doing that at the moment, so I can just cross that off, put that one to the top. Um, so as as things are being done, I change them in the queue uh this is where i learn how i do my numbers um so i can see what i what i want to do next um quite easily when i'm when i'm picking up another work um i do have about five works in progress at the moment because i'm i'm a magpie i like to go oh next shiny um so that's that um, and then I have project sheets for some of the ones that I want to do as well. I also use the to-do sheets from Filofax. So if I've got an idea of things I want to do, but I haven't, I'm not quite ready to kind of do a project sheet for them, I'll just put it on there and, and um, when I get to it, I'll do a project sheet. My next, so my actual today ruler um, is on my completed ones. So this is another idea I got, which, so I've made all these inserts myself. So the project, what date I completed it and would I repeat it? Um, for most of them, I would, apart from um, an infinity scarf I made for my sister because I kind of did it, made it up by myself and I think it probably could be longer, um, but we'll see. Um, so, and those are the project sheets for the ones that I've done, just so I can kind of go back to it if I if I want to, so, and see some notes and whatever. Last uh, tab is my yarn stash. Now, behind here, I've actually got the smaller Martha Stewart tabs with the different sizes, um, or rather, weights of yarn. So on here, um, eventually what I'm gonna do is write kind of my favorite, <coughs> excuse me, my favorite um, places to buy wool. So um, I've got a couple of internet places on there um, and also some independent retailers that I've got to put on there, but at the moment it's, it's empty. Um, this is a, I think it's a Project Life card that someone sent me in Iraq. Um, so I'll show you an empty uh, yarn stash thing. Again, this is another one that I put together. So I've got a box where I can um, tape a piece of my wool, the name of it, the brand, the colour. I'm also trying to put the colour code on there as well. Um, material, the dye lot, which is important when you're using lots of different, um, or rather the same colour, but diff like multiple balls of it. You have to make sure that actually the dye lot is the same because otherwise it might just look completely different. The weight of it, um, so you'll see on the tabs, I've got miscellaneous 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah, um, and that corresponds to the, the number here so for three it's all my dk or double knit will be under here uh recommended um, needle size or hook size recommended gauge tension and this is all from the belly band so if i show you a uh, belly band so this is something that will go around a ball of wool and usually what they suggest is the size let's see if it'll focus no okay there we go um it'll suggest the size of needles that you need to use um so that's where you kind of put it um it's so you don't have to keep the belly bands i do 
Um, washing instructions, so if it's a cool wash, da da da. Number that you've got in your stash, um, how many yards or meters there are per skein, and how many grams, where I bought it, when I bought it, how much it cost. Um, pretty much this is exactly replicated on Ravelry, and you can do that, you can do an electronic version of your stash, and that's where most of my stash is, is on Ravelry, um, because it's just easier to have it, because when you do your, uh, your electronic projects on Ravelry, you can use um, your stash yarn in your projects and then it kind of, it, it, it takes them out of your stash for you automatically, which is quite nice. Um, so I've got a couple of those um, spare sheets. And basically what I do is just fill it in and tack a, tack a piece. And then on the back, I have got um, some project ideas, sketches, um, graph paper, but what I'm doing is, is I'm, um, washi taping the belly bands to the back of the things. These are um, dividers that I also made myself, some from Flow Magazine. This is actually from the Red Spotted Hanky um, envelope. So when uh, Red Spotted Hanky, who's a, they're an online train ticket retailer, when they send you tickets, they send it in a little kind of envelope that's uh, red and spotted. So I really like it. So I've got enough of those. Um, so yeah, so that's, kind of how I keep an eye on what my stash is and and, uh, and what colours I've got and things like that so I've got all the so it, this is what's adding the bulk to my to my file of hacks um, and then at the back I've got graph paper so this is the white lines graph paper which I've cut down from the A5 uh, ring bound notepad and that's just, it's a really nice, because it's grey with white grid lines, it's really nice to um, work with, to write on. It doesn't hurt your eyes because it's not too, because it's grey rather than white. Um, and it also photocopies without the grid lines, which is always very helpful. Um, I've just got a piece of paper in here of things that I wanted to put into the planner. And then in the back, I've got all the belly bands of um, the wool that I haven't put in here. Uh, so it's just kind of information there and I might at some point I will take some clippings and just stick them on there just so I've got a record of all of them um so that's that really really quick tour of my um crochet file effects um I really like it to just kind of keep a keep an eye on my projects particularly since I've got so many on the go uh I can just I can put one down and go I know what row I'm on and pick it up whenever and just open this to the red relevant project page and I'm done. Um, I know exactly where I, where I need to go from there. So I really like it. Uh, so that was a quick tour. Um, if you've got any questions about it, uh, about the inserts, I um, have them. I'm quite happy to share them as well. Uh, so I might put them on my blog uh, and do a coordinating blog post if people are interested. Um, but do let me know in the comments and uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.